Hey guys, it's uh, it's Donnie Benergy here once again for another Donnie Reviews. So, today I'm going to review Diaper and Wimpy Kid 3 Dog Days. The third installment to the Diaper and Wimpy Kid, sorry, Diaper and Wimpy Kid film franchise and the adaptation to the fourth Diaper and Wimpy Kid book, book series. You know, the fourth Diary of Kid book. Fourth. Yes, that's right. Fourth. Not three. Four. Right there. So, yeah, when I found out this movie was coming out, I was pretty excited, but I was actually, I was, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a big Wimpy Kid fan, and I, I'm a, I also like the movies as well, but when I found out that they were skipping the third book and going straight into the fourth one, making the fourth one, I was kind of a little bit kind of disappointed because, you know, the third one is, you know, I mean, it's not my favorite one out of all of them, but it's, it's, it's one of the, one of the best in the series, you know, I really enjoyed it. So I was kind of disappointed, but then I rewatched two and I kind of found some points where the the second one kind of took some elements from the third book and put it into the second movie. So, and the fourth one actually does that as well, so it's kind of, so, the third book is kind of an adaptation, is also adapted, but it's adapted in two other movies. And not into two, but, you know, there's some snippets, and maybe they're going to do that in Ugly Truth, take some snippets from this and into Ugly Truth. You know the fifth one, if if they make that one, and, or if they skip that one and go straight into Cabin Fever, which I haven't read yet, but yeah. But anyway, let me just uh, talk about the plot. Basically, it's about it's about Greg Heffley and his, all of his other friends, and it's summer vacation, and they're basically they're basically just. You know, enjoy, trying to enjoy summer vacation, and Greg, all he wants to do all summer is play video games, but not only that, but he wants to get with Holly Hills, uh, and, you know, try to, you know, uh, try to make a click with her, and, you know, basically, uh, basically what he wants is he wants, you know, he wants two of those things, and that's all he wants to do the whole summer. But his dad thinks that video games are just going to be a waste of time, so he takes away his video games for the rest of the summer, and TV for the rest of the summer. So, pretty big nightmare. And you know, basically, his whole he just has to go through the whole summer without video games, and he also tries to get with Holly, and he also wants to wants to wants to hang out at the country club. And he also wants to make his father happy, you know, proud of him. So that's that's all the plot I'm going to give away. Now let me just really focus on my opinion on the film. Now the movie is like really, really good. I mean, I enjoyed. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it, it's not that I I kind of have a trouble saying it's the best because I really loved Roger Rules, and I think Roger Rules has to be one of my favorite. One of my favorite films of all time. It's on my list. It's somewhere on my list, but you know, you know, I think I thought I think it really resurrected the Wimpy Kid franchise because the first one, it's it, while it was good, it didn't it didn't have that same click, and it wasn't as good as the book. It's still not as good as the book, I have to say. But this one, sorry, this one is really good. So check this out. You know, go buy this on DVD. I'll, I'll review these. I'll review these two eventually, but I'm, I'm not going to review them now because there's there's a lot of heavy hitters. We still have a lot of heavy hitters. You know, I really I really enjoyed this film. I gotta say, um, it it was really. I don't really know how to express my opinion on this because, for one thing, out of all the movies that have that are coming out this year and. You know, I, I ha you know, out of all the movies that are still coming out this year, why am I choosing this one? Why am I not talking about, you know, why am I not talking about The Bourne Legacy or Total Recall? Why am I not talking about those films? 
I haven't seen those two yet. Uh, and I, and I, and due to the, what, and due to the uh, amount of reviews on Rotten Tomatoes that Born Legacy has, I don't think I will plan to see it. But when the the Diary of Wimpy Kid Dog Days, it really it was really good. I have to say it it does follow the book really well. It does follow it very closely. But there are some problems. I mean, for one thing, in the, I mean, they do get a dog, obviously, because it's it says dog days right there, and then they do get a dog in the movie. But in the book, he, in the book, uh, the dad, uh, you know, Mr. Huffley, you know, Greg's dad, he takes the book, you take, get, get, gives the dog away. You know, to his like his grand, to like the grandparents or something, but in the book that doesn't happen. So I, but I mean in the book that happens, but in the movie that doesn't happen. So I don't really know what why they didn't do that. So, but any overall the movie's really funny, and the last but you know, the last scene, the the last like sequence it's at a birthday party it's at a sweet sixteen birthday party for Holly's Holly's sister Holly Hill's sister Heather and it's just now and I'm not gonna give give it away I'm not gonna give it away but this this is so freaking fun I mean it's parodying but I do have to say it, it is kind of parodying something that's been that has been way over parodied you know, for, for a long time, but it is pretty damn funny, but, you know, it does start off like that, but then, once it progresses, it, it absolutely becomes funny, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but you have got to go see that, see this movie in order to see that scene, it's just so funny, it makes the whole movie worth it, so, overall, now, I think, Wimpy Kid 2 is still, uh, is, I, I still have to say, both of them are tied right now. I have to, uh, maybe uh, I'll see Dog Days again to really see which one's, if it's better, or or if it's better than Roderick Rules, but, you know, I have, like I said, I have to, you know, see, see this one again, and that movie again, so, yeah. So, I'm gonna have to give Dire of Wimpy Kid... Dog day, Diver with the Kid Three Dog Days. I'm gonna have to give it a about an. I have to have to give it an eight point five out of ten because there are several. I mean, it's it it does follow the book very well, but there are some elements that it didn't really that it kind of missed. And for another thing, you know, in the book, Greg doesn't really get with. Holly, he he doesn't really he doesn't really like really get her, you know like really they don't really click yet. And actually, I don't. In fact, he kind of got over her in the third book, but um since they kind of since they kind of screwed that up in the second one, they kind of had a you know fall to that. So you know I mean you can't get everything from the books. I mean the books are kind of hard to become movies. I mean it, I think they're easier to be, be progressed as television shows, but. I give Diary of Wimpy Kid 3 Dog Days a 8.5 out of 10. It's really good. Go see it. It's it's worth your time. I mean, I mean, it's a good time. I mean, it's not a bad movie. It's not a terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. But I'll see it again. And, yeah, so, yeah. 8.5 out of 10 for Diary of Wimpy Kid 3 Dog Days. So... I'm Donnie Benergy, and this is Donnie Benergy of Donnie Reviews, signing off.